fabrics can be either natural or synthetic. Except for the very small portion of fabrics that are inherently flame resistant, almost all fabrics are naturally flammable. Most natural fiber textiles in the world are currently produced in mills located in India and Pakistan. If flame retardant capabilities are required, they're often treated with flame retardant at the mill as part of the production process. Inherently flame resistant fabrics have non flammable materials woven within the fabric fibers. Only a few suppliers manufacture these flame resistant fabrics. Their processes are patented and carry very high prices, so they are not commonly found in curtains. Stage drapes used in theaters and schools present a particular risk since they are used in venues that hold large numbers of people. Stage drapes can be exposed to heat sources, such as stage lights, and if untreated, are highly flammable. When new, most stage drapery has already been treated with flame retardant. However, this flame retardant must be renewed every three to five years to remain effective. Accumulation of dirt on top of the fibers provides an accelerant for flame spread. In addition, if the drapes are immersed in any liquid, for instance washed or dry cleaned, or have become wet, the flame retardant washes right out. The fire code requires that all textiles and films used in buildings shall meet the requirements for a high degree of flame resistance. Moreover, if documentation does not exist, flame retardant treatment shall be renewed as often as required to ensure the material will pass the match flame test in NFPA 705. It's this test NFPA 705 that we will demonstrate today. Samples are cut into one half inch by four inch pieces. To pass the test successfully, after 12 seconds of exposure, textiles must completely extinguish themselves within two seconds of the removal of the flame. Let's demonstrate the flammability of raw cotton. As you can see, raw cotton burns readily. Second, a more standard decorative drapery fabric. Third, another natural fiber, silk. Finally, a drape fabric similar to what is found on a stage. As you can see, none of them require the full 12 seconds of exposure and are quite flammable. All of these results would be a fail. Now, let's see the same material treated with flame retardant. Once treated, even flammable materials such as raw cotton do not burn. With the proper application of flame retardant, fabrics that were quite flammable become non-flammable. Typically, flame retardant needs to be reapplied every three to five years. There are a few things you need to know about flame retardant. It should only be applied by a company with experience in applying flame retardant to textiles. Drapes must first be clean to be able to absorb the flame retardant. In fact, as dust is flammable, even drapes that are inherently fire resistant can fail a flame test when they are dirty. Prior to application, proper cleaning is required, 
as traditional vacuuming or beating methods will only remove surface dust. Also, it's important to use only a non-immersion cleaning system to clean the drapes. In other words, no washing or dry cleaning, as liquids will remove any existing flame retardant properties. Once clean, flame retardant is sprayed evenly on the fabric, being careful to apply just the right amount. Too much will leave permanent staining. Too little, and it's not effective. Once flame retardant has been applied and allowed to dry for 24 hours, material should be retested using NFPA 705 to confirm the successful application of the flame retardant. Some fabrics will require multiple applications of flame retardant to be effective. This has been a demonstration of NFPA 705, recommended practice for a field flame test for textiles and film. We hope you found this informative. For more information, please contact on-site drapery cleaners at 1-800-465-2082 or visit our website at www.truedryclean.com.